What is the neighborhood of a vertex in graph theory? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. I love these terms in graph theory that just take normal, everyday words and apply them to some related concept in graph theory. So let's go ahead and read our definition. We're going to let G be a graph with vertex set V and edge set E. Then let little v be a vertex of G. The neighborhood of V, which is written like this, is the set containing all vertices adjacent to V. And hopefully that seems pretty intuitive. For example, if we look at the vertex A, the neighbors of A are the vertices adjacent to A, which are F and G. So it makes sense that the neighborhood of A is the set containing all of its neighbors, the set containing F and G. Then if we call this graph G, we could write like this, that the neighborhood of A is the set containing F and G, because F and G are all of the vertices in the graph that are joined by an edge with A. And in this case, since it's obvious we're talking about this graph, we could just leave off this subscript of G. It's not completely necessary. So you only really need to use that subscript if you're talking about multiple graphs at the same time and you want to make sure you're clear what graph you're talking about. For another example, what is the neighborhood of G? Remember that the neighborhood of a vertex is the set containing all vertices adjacent to that vertex. It's the set containing all neighbors. So the neighbors of G are A, F, E, D, and C, because all of these vertices are neighbors of G. They're all adjacent to G. So the neighborhood of G is the set containing A, F, E, D, and C. Clearly, by definition, the cardinality of the neighborhood of a vertex is equal to the degree of that vertex. Remember that the degree of a vertex is the number of vertices it is adjacent to. And every one of those adjacent vertices will be in that vertex's neighborhood. And so it follows that the cardinality of the neighborhood of a vertex is equal to the degree of that vertex. Same thing with our vertex A, of course. The cardinality of the neighborhood of A is equal to the degree of A. We see that there are two elements in the neighborhood of A, and of course A has a degree of 2. This is another lesson where I have to point out there is another definition of neighborhood that is sometimes used. Sometimes the neighborhood of a vertex is defined to be not the set of adjacent vertices, but the subgraph induced by the set of adjacent vertices. So if we were to use that definition with our vertex G, then the neighborhood of G is no longer the set of adjacent vertices, but the subgraph induced by that set. And here is the notation for that. This notation refers to the subgraph of G induced by this vertex set. And remember that the subgraph induced by a set of vertices is the graph containing all vertices in that set and all of their adjoining edges. And that is what this subgraph here is. So again, sometimes the neighborhood of a vertex is defined to be the subgraph induced by the set of adjacent vertices. In the case of the vertex G, this is the set of vertices adjacent to G, so its neighborhood is the subgraph induced by that vertex set, and that is this subgraph here. It has all the adjacent vertices, and it has all of their adjoining edges. So if you're reading about neighborhoods or working with them, just make sure you're clear about the definition that's being used. The neighborhood of a vertex is either the set of all of its neighbors, the set of the adjacent vertices, or it may be defined as the subgraph induced by that set of adjacent vertices. Under either definition, what we're talking about so far is what's called an open neighborhood. Unless otherwise stated, a neighborhood is assumed to be an open neighborhood, which means it doesn't include the vertex it's being evaluated at. So the neighborhood of V does not contain V. 
that's what makes it an open neighborhood. However, sometimes we may want to discuss a closed neighborhood. And here is the definition of that. Same as before, we've got a graph G, vertex set V, edge set E, and V is a vertex of the graph. Then, the closed neighborhood of V, which is written like this with square brackets instead of parentheses, is the same thing we were talking about before, the set of all neighbors, and then we just throw in that vertex as well. So the closed neighborhood of V is the set containing all of V's neighbors and containing V itself. So using the same graph as above for an example, let's look at the closed neighborhood of C. The closed neighborhood of C contains the neighbors of C, which are D, B, and G, but then this is unioned with the set that contains C. So the final result, the closed neighborhood of C, is the set containing C's neighbors, D, B, and G, and C itself. Of course, when dealing with a closed neighborhood, the cardinality of a closed neighborhood is not equal to the degree of the vertex it's being evaluated at. The degree of C is 3, but the closed neighborhood of C contains 4 vertices. And just like we went over before, the closed neighborhood of a vertex could be defined as the subgraph induced by the set containing all adjacent vertices and the vertex itself. Under that definition, the closed neighborhood of C would be the subgraph induced by this vertex set, which would be this subgraph here. It contains the vertices adjacent to C, it contains C, and it contains all of the adjoining edges. And those are the basics of neighborhoods. Remember, unless otherwise stated, a neighborhood is assumed to be open, and it's written with this notation with parentheses. The neighborhood of a vertex is either defined as the set containing all vertices adjacent to that vertex, or it's defined as the subgraph induced by that set of adjacent vertices. We could also talk about closed neighborhoods, which have similar notation, but with square brackets instead of parentheses. And closed neighborhoods contain the vertex that the neighborhood is being evaluated at. And with that said, here's an example you can try on your own if you like. What is the neighborhood of the vertex A in this graph? And for the sake of this problem, neighborhood is defined as the set of adjacent vertices, not the induced subgraph. Let me know what you get down in the comments, and I'll leave the solution in the description. So I hope this video helped you understand neighborhoods of vertices in graph theory. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. I've got teeth behind my eyes that tear the flesh from what is sacred. In my dreams, I never die. And if I do, I just wait.